Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a plan with me in my Louis Vuitton GM agenda. So let me adjust the frame just a bit. Um, I don't have much to put in here and to be honest, I'm actually filming this the day before this goes up. Um, I don't know why, but I forgot to film my plan with me this week. Uh, probably because I didn't write it down. Um, so it's Saturday, July 1st that I'm filming this. I just actually got back from running a few errands that we'll see in the planner. Um, and I just got back to Hobby Lobby and Barnes and Noble, Target, and I picked up the mail. So I wanted to share my little Hobby Lobby haul. All of the Paper Studio items were either 40 or 50% off. And so this is where I like to stock up. So I got some personal note inserts. Um, they're regularly, I think, oh, that's funny. This one says $5.99, but these are $2.99. I think this got labeled wrong. Oh well, I still got it half off. So typically they're $2.99, um, but I, with half off it's still like two something, which is still great for this amount of notes. Uh, I have a new personal size agenda coming in the mail, so I wanted to have a lot of notes for that. And then I also thought I'd take the chance to grab some more refill paper since again it was on sale. This is $5.99 and it was half off and it's just it comes with a lot. And then I also thought I would get some grid paper, um, or I'm sorry, dotted bullet like paper. And again, since they were on sale, half up of $4.49. So I think all this together was less than $20. And then I also picked up the mail, as I mentioned. So I have my subscription from the planner spot. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what the subscription kit for this month is. I think we're on August, if I believe. Okay, so we have the planner card that it comes with. And then here is the deco. Ooh, and then you have an office theme. This is gonna be perfect for back to school for my final semester. Let me zoom in. So here's August. We got some light gray headers. Love the laptop, especially on the acrylic stand because that looks exactly like my desk setup. Um, same with the acrylic organizer. I absolutely love these. And then here is the, that was A, here is B. Um, again, love all these, perfect for school. I'll probably pick up another set of these just because I can use these <laughs> in multiple weeks. This is sheet C, so all of the checklists and then half boxes as well as habit trackers, all following the same theme. And then we have D, which is icons, graphs, and then headers, which I really like to use throughout the weeks in my hourly. So we have all of that, and I'll do a plan with me in my hourly soon. Um, tomorrow's video is actually a setup. So I combine my focus planner and my hourly planner. I've done it before in the past, and so I wanted to do it again um, just because I, as y'all saw, if y'all saw my most recent planner stack video, I did my mid-year refresh update. I am using so many planners, and so if I can consolidate any, I'm like trying to, especially since, again, I like I mentioned, I have another planner on the way, so yeah. Um, oh, something else that I wanna show y'all. Again, let's just make this like a fun little planner haul video as well as a plan with me. Infinite Lotus is having their, I think a mid-year sale, and uh, I'll have links, of course, to everything below that I'm using, but um, I got some new finance inserts and I'm currently in the process of updating my finance section. I couldn't find my four top tabs, um, but instead I um, found these finance inserts that I purchased off someone who I can't remember, like a few years ago. And I think these were from, oof, maybe May Paper Co. I can't remember what brand these are from um but i absolutely love these and kind of forgot that i had them but i got this yearly financials insert these are all printables by the way and then i use the infinite lotus printable paper that's something that i'm going to stock up on on this sale because as you all know i like printing my own inserts and i love using their paper because it's just such great quality 
Um, I had these inserts in here for my overview, but then I added a few more. So I need to get tighter on my budget starting this part of the year. And so I have a budget log in here. So I got these. These are new to the shop and they come in printable and printed. And then I also got these weekly expenses, which I just started using and absolutely love this week. So I'm um, really loving these additions. I really like having this in here because it makes it easier to like keep track of what I'm spending. Like at the end of the day, if I buy something, I can just come in and like write it all down and then add it up and then set an actual budget for my spending um, in here. So really excited to use these. So yeah, that is all new inserts. I don't remember if I've showed these to y'all yet. Um, if you saw my academic setup video, this is also, I guess, going to be a catch-up video. Um, I switched to the academic planner inserts from Rosie Papatri, and you got these amazing course overview inserts, which I really love, and a perpetual calendar, which I'm using for assignments. And then it also comes with like a monthly, but I didn't need that. Um, if I do use a monthly, it's going to be that I'm going to bring back my May Paper Co. ones that I already have like filled out kind of. Um, but you, I, it also comes with these hourlies, which was really nice. And so I switched out my Infinite Lotus for these Rosie Papa 3 ones that came in that pack. And again, that's printable and printed options. Uh, I just printed it on so Infinite Lotus paper because as y'all know, I love the paper, as I just mentioned. But yeah, really liking these. Um, they're half hours and then I've just been like jotting down. I color coded my um, like meetings and anything that popped out. And I'm just filling this in, sorry guys. Um, yeah, I'm just really loving this. So we have these in here, but for this week we're gonna fill out our weekly inserts. Here's the current week that I'm filming. Here's the first week that I added these to my planner. I think it was like right after I filled my plan with me naturally. Here's the previous week that I think you just saw. And then now for the actual <laughs> plan with me. So um, here was the beginning of the week, current. Um, I'm, I switched Saturday and Sunday, it's fine. Um, nothing going on or nothing that needs to be added to notes for next week. So we can focus on this upcoming week. So um, not that much, again, as I mentioned, going on this week. I had my first like official consulting meeting for the company that I'm consulting for. I am on the marketing team and really excited. I was actually at Starbucks earlier today just working on some stuff. And I'm gonna finish up some stuff this weekend as well. And then we have a follow-up meeting on Friday which is exciting, where um, we'll go over some of the research that I've done. I'm helping redesign the website and some like getting a draft of it and everything together. So marketing at 1 p.m. So I'm gonna take a delay, a, a delayed lunch at my job and do that during lunch. Um, but yeah, we have that, and honestly, guys, there's not much else to put in here except that we are going to be traveling um, the following week. So I think that's too why we just want to like relax. We're not really doing anything. Tuesday's Fourth of July. Oh, so I guess I'm off. I should highlight that. Um, but we're not really doing anything. I'm just relaxing at home. And I'll have, you know, homework to do and whatnot and study, but really just want to use this weekend to relax. I do work Monday. Um, we don't get that Monday off, which I wish we did. Um, I know I saw like on LinkedIn and I saw a few people say like their companies just gave them that Monday off, which would be nice. Uh, my dad actually works for a company too where they did that, but uh, we unfortunately have to work. Uh, but it's fine because like most people are on vacation, so it's gonna be a pretty easy day. Let's use these champagne. And we'll use a big drop. Let's put it in the corner to call it out.
Then it looks like I need to refill my prescription this week. And let me find my day off sticker. And then let's see any updates for you guys. So like I said, we're traveling to my best friend's wedding next week. So I have content prepped, thank, thankfully. <laughs> um, I have unboxings like every week for you guys and I'm just so excited uh, for it and to like just have this content prepped out for you guys because the class that I'm in, I think I've mentioned before, it's it's gonna get difficult. Like right now it's fine because we just, you know, it was our first week, but it's, a, it's about to get a little difficult. So, um, I was excited that I could really like take the time to uh, content prep and get stuff so that way I don't have to worry about it in between travel and school. Uh, I'm going to add this little luggage icon uh, for finished packing because we leave Monday. So I'm really excited. We got a, okay, so it's called a resort <laughs> where we're going, but it's like a three-star hotel and that's all they really have there because a lot of people just like bring their RVs and stuff. And so I was looking on Google because I noticed like it was all a bunch of like motels and inns and like three star, um, like this one that we're in, it's a three star hotel and that was the highest ranked hotel in the area. Um, but it's also a resort. <laughs> um, so it's just a really interesting area. Uh, but I think it's just like a beach town, like a small beach town. And um, when I was on my marketing meeting actually this week with the team, they were all talking about how, yeah, that's kind of just like a thing, it's just a small town, but everybody loves it over there and most people just like go camping and whatnot so the hotels are still like clean but yeah they're three stars and two stars because i was a little nervous i was like is this like a sketchy area like do i not bring my designer stuff you know um and like even the first hotel that i booked i had to like cancel because i was like i just don't feel safe like that door looks kind of flimsy um i don't know i just want to travel even though my husband's gonna be with but especially when he's not, I, I'm like extra paranoid and like aware. I see too many things on TikTok. So I always prefer to be safe. And so um, I switched to a different hotel or I'm sorry, resort that's like, I think a mile down the road. Um, and it had like four, like almost five star reviews. So um, we're gonna be staying there and it's on the beach, which I can't wait because it's gonna be nice to be able to actually see like the sunset on the beach. That's something that I didn't get to do in California just cause I wanted to get back to the hotel room since I was traveling alone um, and my hotel wasn't on the beach. I think the next time that I go to Orange County, actually I know for a fact the next time that I go to Orange County, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna stay in Laguna Beach and I wanna go to the Montage because it was absolutely beautiful. The beaches there were incredible. I spent most of my time in Laguna and um, I definitely wanna go back. So I think if I ever go to a beach now, I know I want like a beachfront hotel. I think it's worth it. And you can find like reasonably priced ones. Like this one was like cheaper than I think. I think it was like a hundred and something a night, which isn't bad. But again, it's like a three star hotel. So that's probably why. Um, but either way, I'm really looking forward to the trip and I'm actually going to probably put in the wedding as well in the flight information. I think we should just pre-plan a bit in this video. Um, and that way there's actual content. I say these things and then because I add so much stuff to it, these videos that are supposed to be like, I think are gonna be like two, three minutes, end up being like 20 minute videos um, because I decided to continue to add and add, but um, it's okay. So <laughs> I'd rather give you all like good content. So what I'll think I'll do is we'll fill this out for, um, this week and then next week I'll do one and uh, play with me in my Erin Condren and Focus slash hourly so that way y'all can see that so yeah I'm really excited to uh, go to this wedding it'll be on the beach and it's gonna be very small like smaller than our wedding and y'all know we have a really small wedding um, but it's just gonna be so much fun I haven't seen um, her parents and family and so long like we were so this is my the oldest friend that I had so we met in I think sixth grade or seventh grade I want to say I feel like it was sixth probably like that summer because she would always have us over like our mutual friend and then in high school 
um, is when we became really close because we had like almost every single class together and she moved like right after that but we always remained like close friends we'd always call each other text each other with like like milestone <laughs> updates of what was going on and so um it was always nice that you know we like stayed in touch but like to this day like she's like family and i love her and her family treats me like family and vice versa so i'm really excited for her and to celebrate her wedding day it's gonna be absolutely beautiful um and i can't wait and i got a really cute dress and she was at target today so really looking forward to that but yeah that's plans i'll have to add travel plans in off camera just because I have to like look it up and I don't know where I put my phone um, after I just look something else up. But yeah, I know this is kind of boring. So I hope you enjoyed the hauls. But again, I knew there wasn't too much going on. It's really just going to be travel prep for the big day. Um, and since I got most content done, minus the plan with me's, that's all I really need to add in here. So yeah, other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If you all have any questions, please don't forget to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.